Curriculum is a pre-lit Christmas tree. Now, I know this is a rather unusual metaphor for curriculum, but like I said in my little introductory at the top of this video, I have three reasons to back up my metaphor. A pre-lit Christmas tree, first off, is made of different layers that build up to reach one single point. Secondly, a pre-lit Christmas tree is just a foundation, a base, a starting point for more unique decorations. You, you put up the tree and then you add things like ornaments and garland and ribbons to complete the whole Christmas tree. And thirdly, a pre-lit Christmas tree, year to year, looks completely different. It's the same tree with the same lights attached every year and might even be the same ornaments, but oftentimes the outcome looks different. Now let's break those down even further. In a pre-lit Christmas tree, you have these different sections that build up on one another that all eventually lead up to one single point. Curriculum 2 has different sections that lead up to a single point or objective that you're trying to meet. So take a math unit plan, for example. You might start off the unit where the kids are getting out manipulative blocks, putting five uh, bunches of five blocks here and a bunch of five blocks there, counting them up to get 10. But then the next time you, you teach them, you do a picture of five and a picture of five, and you have them get the 10. And then the next time you do the numbers and you have them grab the blocks themselves to get the 10. The different levels and steps that you take to get to the point where the kids are adding five plus five on their own without the manipulatives. Or take a single lesson plan. It also has different sections that lead up to a certain point. And so you start your lesson off by engaging them and seeing where they're at, maybe a pre-assessment here, and then you go through different sections where you're communicating the purpose of the lesson, you're going through your instructional sequence, and in the end, you have a, a time of closure where you assess what the kids have learned for the day, going up to that single point that you want them to understand and grasp. Curriculum is a pre-lit Christmas tree because it has different sections that lead up to a single point. A pre-lit Christmas tree is a base for more unique decorations. Music notes, red ornaments, glittery, shiny snowflakes, signs that say words like joy or show off your faith. Happy birthday, Jesus, it says. And curriculum is a pre-lit Christmas tree. Curriculum is a base, a starting point for more unique elements. So you're looking at your curriculum and you have this basis foundation, a nice starting point on what you're going to teach. But then you look at that and you say, what can I add for my students? I have students that are into music. Let's add a mu let's integrate music into my lesson plan so that my students that learn best through music better understand the concept that I'm teaching. Or a lot of my students need a little joy today. How can I add a little laughter into our lessons, into this curriculum that I already have to bring them joy? How can I show love to my students? How can I integrate faith? How can I teach them about Jesus as we're learning about English and grammar? All different things that we can integrate into the base of our curriculum, into our foundation of our prelit. Christmas tree. And now sometimes we look at this, these, uh, we look at curriculum and we say, you know, this isn't quite right. There's something about this that doesn't work for my setting, for my classroom. And so sometimes you take something away. You turn the lights off the pre-lit Christmas tree and you add your own things to the base of that curriculum. It's okay to take things away from the curriculum to better teach your student. But next year could be a whole different story. So the next year rolls around, it's time to decorate your Christmas tree. You put it up and you say, hmm, I think I need a little lights this year. And so this year 
you turn on the lights. And you say, hmm, I don't need to put this here. I want to put my musical element somewhere else. Put it down there. And curriculum is the same way. Oftentimes in education as teachers, we use the same curriculum year to year. And so each year we get out that curriculum and we say, all right, how am I gonna do this this year? The base, the starting point is still the same, but what new elements am I gonna add? How am I gonna rearrange what I've done in the past to suit my current students? Because sometimes maybe your students don't need the extra help. Or maybe there's something else that you can add to the tree that you didn't have last year or add to the curriculum. It's taking a time to look at the foundation and say, all right, this is where my starting point is. What do my students need? How's it gonna be different this year? You have different students each and every year that have different gifts and talents and different learning styles. How can I best serve them? How can I best teach them? And that's where differentiated instruction comes in. And again, it's gonna be different year to year because you have different students. Some years you might have a class full of students with IEPs. And the next year you might have a class full of gifted students that you're rocking and rolling throughout the year and um, giving them more unique challenges. So every year your Christmas tree is gonna look different. And every year, the way you teach your curriculum is going to look different. Curriculum is a pre-lit Christmas tree. Curriculum has layers that build up to a single point. Curriculum is a base, a foundation, a starting point for you and your lesson plans. Something that you can add your own unique touches for based on the kids that you have, the materials you have, and even based on things that are going on in the moment. A cool thing about a Christmas tree is it's easy to redecorate. And so if something's not working or something's not looking quite right, you can make a change. Turn off the lights, move an ornament. Same goes with your curriculum. Something's not working right. Something's just not perfect. Move something around, change things up, add something new. And you know, that means that year to year, your lessons are gonna look different because even though you have the same base, the same pre-lit Christmas tree, the same curriculum, year to year, you're gonna have a different outcome because you have different students, different learning styles, different circumstances to all make up your unique Christmas tree each and every year.